guys, circular motion problems are back, this time on satellites and weightlessness. At what rate must a cylindrical spaceship rotate if occupants are to experience simulated gravity of 0.70 g? Assume the spaceship's diameter is 34 meters and give your answer as the time needed for one revolution. Okay, so to get an idea of what's happening here, I'm going to draw a picture. I mean, you've got a cylindrical spaceship. Okay, this spaceship is rotating and the fact that it's rotating, things that move in a circular fashion have a centripetal force. And in this case, because the gravity in space, when you're on, uh, for example, the ISS, it's quite weak compared to the one we experience on Earth. So having something rotate like in this example, you can create simulated gravity. The centripetal force in this case will act as the force of gravity. Okay, so since FC simulates gravity, we're gonna use those two expressions together. So it's actually a lot simpler than simply uh, setting FC equal to FG. Okay, we're actually just gonna set AC equal to 0 0.70 of G because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the centripetal acceleration to be equal to 70% the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. Now, we know that centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. So V squared over R is equal to uh, 0 0.70 G. Okay, so V is equal to the square root of R times 0 0.70 times G. Okay, so the radius, if the diameter is 34 meters, the radius is half of that. It's going to be 17 meters. G is your lovely 9.8 meters per second squared. And there you've got your 0 0.70 in there as well. So plug that in, take the square root, and you are going to get V is 10.799 meters per second. When you round that, you're going to get V is approximately... 11 meters per second okay, and that's accurate to two sig figs as we need based on our problem now the question asks us give your answer as the time needed for one revolution so when things move in a circular fashion uh, the distance you travel is that of the circumference of a circle um, and here's your speed so using our handy old speed equals distance over time equation the distance you travel in a circle is 2 pi r and the time to go in a circle is called the period, capital T. So V is equal to 2 pi r over T, and we're looking for capital T, the time needed for one revolution. So all you need to do is switch places with T and V. T is equal to 2 pi r over V. Plug in your values. So 2 pi r is 17 meters divided by V, 11 meters per second. When you plug that in, you are going to get t is equal to 9.71 seconds. We need to round that to two sig figs, so we're gonna round that t is equal to 9.7 seconds. And there's your final answer. So that's actually it for this video. I'm gonna end it there. Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to Physics in the Flesh so you never miss a video from me. Thank you so much for watching.